welcome back. So today I'm starting off the weekend with a Stitch Fix unboxing. And this is the box right here. It's very heavy, so I'm assuming we might have a pair of shoes in here, hopefully some boots, and hopefully lots and lots of false staples. So if you are a new viewer here, I share fashion and styling videos with you every Monday and Friday. So if you're interested in seeing more from me, don't forget to subscribe and then hit that little notification bell on the side as well. Before I share with you my Stitch Fix box, I teamed up with Anna Luisa Jewelry for this portion of the video to share with you a few of my favorite pieces from this jewelry brand. I'm not sure if it's just because we're into the fall season or what, but I've been really enjoying wearing just simple, delicate gold pieces with my everyday looks. Anna Luisa Jewelry has prices starting at $39, and then their prices can go up into the higher range, so I really appreciate that they have prices for everyone, whether you're looking for higher end or more affordable jewelry. I'm actually wearing one of my favorite pieces today. It's just like a very simple hoop. I'll show you a close-up in just a second, but I prefer investing in sustainable jewelry when I can. If they're really cheap, they have a tendency to really irritate my ears and they get really red and itchy. And with cheap studs or dangly earrings and statement earrings, I can tell if they're good quality just because of the way my ears react. And even as I show you the pieces, like I feel like the camera isn't gonna do it justice because in person, you can appreciate the detail even more. Like it's just, there's so much weight to these. You can tell that they are very well made. And the pieces that I chose haven't caused any type of irritation in my ears, and I am pretty sensitive. I thought it was also worth noting that this jewelry is carbon neutral, so any raw materials that they use to make this jewelry, they will give back 100% keeping that balance. I chose this pair of earrings for the detail. It has really pretty, um, I think it's like watercolor floral flowers on it. The design for this one is on the front of the earring. It doesn't go into the back. The back is like a really pretty gold color. I want to wear this with a really pretty ruffle neck collar. I think that would bring so much look. And I love wearing my hair in the bun and then wearing something like this because they really stand out. And these earrings are small enough that they're not like a huge statement. There's just a little bit of detail and add just a little bit of color to an outfit. This pair in particular is 14 karat gold plating and then it also is hypoallergenic which I really appreciate because of my sensitive ears. I also wanted to mention that you get your jewelry in these pouches. So they're very well protected. They also come with like little plastic coverings to keep them from scratching. This style is called Paris, which I think is the perfect name for it because it's very simple, but has a lot of detail. Once again, it's like that braided twisted style. These are small enough that they're perfect for everyday looks. They're heavy, but they're not too heavy that it's uncomfortable to wear them because they'll like pull on your ear. These are just a big Basic pair of earrings, perfect for any hairstyle, any outfit, and they just go with everything. Which is why I really wanted a sustainable pair like this because if I am going to be wearing this every day, I need it to be good quality and these are perfect. And then this last pair I am wearing in the style Abbey. I feel like the best way to describe these is they've got that vintage look and they're very elegant. Like really you can do anything with these earrings. All of these earrings are very classy. There's so much detail. I will have a link to this jewelry in my description box along with a 10% discount code if you are interested in purchasing. Check out all their designs because they have so many pretty cuts and styles. I feel like this is the perfect time of year to be investing in some great statement pieces to wear with your pretty turtlenecks. So those are the earrings. Earrings I am enjoying wearing at the moment I wanted to share with you today. So now I'm ready to get right into my Stitch Fix box. This envelope has my styling information and prices. And then this is my shipping label. And it does look like we have a pair of shoes. But I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with the clothes. I'm gonna start with the shoes. I'm just really curious now. That shade of brown is really pretty. What brand is this from? Oh, it's from Mia. I love Mia. I have some Mia clogs that I got from Free People and I just really like Mia shoes. I really, really like having elastic on my shoes like this because it's really easy to walk in. It just makes it more comfortable. Mia prices are pretty average, so I'm not expecting something over the top. I can definitely see myself wearing these a lot. These would be perfect for like an everyday, simple fall outfit. Let's see what we have for clothes. I mean, I wasn't really expecting this for like a fall statement box, that tie-dye style that everybody has been wearing this year. I'm not really into it as much as everybody else seems to be, but I'm not really looking for summer stuff anymore. This would actually be kind of cute to wear around the house. Um, just like with high-waisted leggings, I could definitely see myself wearing this. I'm just 
I'm looking for more fall stuff, you know? So for this top, I don't really see myself wearing this actually. This tie-dye color is just not really my thing. I think I would go for more of the pastel. I could see this being a nice workout t-shirt or just like loungewear even. It is a really nice comfortable fit and there is a lot of stretch in the fabric, but it's very light. Stick around, don't leave yet. We do have some fall pieces in here. I love this green color. This is a jumpsuit. It's really comfortable. I love the look of this. It has little pockets in the back and I really like this ribbon in the front. It is like that satin material. So it gives it more of an elegant look rather than putting like drawstring in it. I feel like it almost dresses it up a little bit. I mean, this material is very stretchy. This is a sleeveless jumpsuit, but this is something you can easily throw a sweater over or wear a turtleneck underneath. It's a really cute style. It looks like it'll be really flattering. But this is from the brand Heartloom. It's a size large. The only thing I don't like is we have the snappy. This one is pretty sturdy, so this actually might not be a problem this time. I really like it, and I think it's so cute that it has little pockets in the back on the bum. Just the ability to layer with this piece is really nice. I really didn't mind this little snappy right here because you can't even tell it's there and it doesn't pull or make anything uncomfortable because there's so much stretch in this material. But I really like that it has a little bow right there. I would wear this more around the house, I think, because it's just like, it feels like I'm wearing pajamas. I'm also not wearing any shapewear and I feel like it's not too bad. So I was impressed with that. Not too many lines or anything. You have a lot of room. It's so stretchy. And I feel like my hips really fill out this back portion, but I love the little pockets. This is extremely soft. I wanna know what material this is made out of. Yeah, this is just a really pretty style. It's simple, but it's very detailed. Do you have cute little pockets in the front? I think that's so cute. This would actually be really nice to wear with leggings around the house. When I show you the material, let me know what makes this so soft because this feels like barefoot dreams. but I didn't really have anything that I felt like went. So I just stuck to my black tank top and black leggings. And I feel like this is just kind of like a nice cozy outfit. I would wear this out or at home. I want an entire blanket made from this fabric. I just, I love it. It's like a perfect fall staple. This is a dress from Collective Concepts. We have that ruffle collar. And this is something I can turn into a fall piece again because I can just throw a chunky sweater over it. It's a size large, it has elastic around the waist and it has the cutest tiered ruffles. I'm really into that right now. I've tried on a dress from this brand before and it fit perfectly, so I have a feeling this one is gonna fit really nicely. It does have that stretchy waistband, so it's really comfortable. I think this is the perfect flattering length for me, but for preference, I would actually prefer it to be just a little bit shorter. And I did tie the neck. You can leave this open if you wanted to, but I just like everything tied right now. The ruffles are my thing. I love that. It does have little polka dots on it, which I love polka dots, so 
I don't mind that at all. That is everything, and I'm gonna go ahead and share with you the prices. First, we have the Collective Concept Nia dress. This is in navy, size large. This is $74. I think that's pretty reasonable. I mean, I really liked the fit. I love the style, so yeah. I really like this one. $74 is not bad. And then we have the Heartloom Knit Jumpsuit in size large, and this is $78. Oh, not that. For a jumpsuit, I'm not surprised. $78 is definitely the price range of jumpsuits and rompers and stuff like that. So and the material is really nice. It does feel really soft. This would be a nice staple to have to wear during the fall season. Not bad, not bad. And then next we have the Design History Pocket Duster Cardigan in size medium, and this is $74. Um, just because of how it feels, I'm not surprised. Like, this is definitely higher quality. I feel like cardigans are starting to get really expensive. Yikes, I'm really liking everything in this box. This Sage Tie-Dye Tank in black size medium, this is $40. I actually think that's a little high for this type of tank top. It's just jersey material. Like it doesn't feel like anything special. I don't see that price tag being worth it for this, but I mean, I could see this being like an everyday piece just to wear around the house or maybe for workout or something. And then the Mia ankle boots, these are $69. I was expecting a more reasonable price because I feel like you still get really good high quality with Mia, but their prices are like affordable. So the stylist pick subtotal was $335. Buy all discount would subtract $83.75, so that would be the 25% discount. So the order subtotal would be $251.25. So we definitely got some fall staples in here. I'm so happy. We did get Rachel for this fix. I feel like this one was definitely a lot more along lines of Rachel. Like I feel like just the last fix was kind of off. But this one feels a lot closer to my style. I'm very happy with these pieces. I feel like she did a really good job this round. I'm not going to buy anything from this fix just because I invested in doing a thrifted and clearance shopping haul that you will be seeing this coming Monday. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold off on getting anything, but I'm gonna have all this stuff listed down below for you. I really would like to keep these shoes, but I'm kind of waiting for my trunk club because I'm not sure what type of boots I'm going to be getting in there because I did get a few angle boots recently. I think I'd like to get some high knee boots now, but I do recommend these. These are beautiful. I love them. So if you want to request these, definitely do. Don't forget to check the jewelry out that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. It's going to be linked in my description box once again, along with all the outfits in here. But anyway, I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.